Okay, folks. Brother Rob here. I want to read you some Bible. We don't get on YouTube very much, but I'm going to try to come on a little bit more if I can. And uh, try to read you some Bible. Will you get it for yourself? This is Revelations 21. We're going to read Revelations 21 to you. I always recommend if you come over on uh, Facebook, we do a lot lot more on Facebook. We're starting to switch channels now because we actually picked up a couple new channels that, that are actually not too bad. You can actually, you actually get free speech and things. So it isn't like YouTube or Facebook or anything like that. You can actually, you know, if you want to, they don't, they don't, they don't shut you down. So remember that folks. And, uh, cause we always say, listen, be real, just be real, you know, and, and doing the Bible is about just doing it. It isn't about pretending or, or, or making a show or, 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 or abusing other people. That isn't what it's about. But you do have to say what the Bible says. Now, how you do it, we're going to have to work on that with people. I think people, every, everybody's got something. We all got something we got to straighten out. But all right, let's get in this. I want to read this to you so you understand it. Try to get a Bible and go along with me. I tell everybody, listen, the New International Version is different than the King James Version. John 3.16. Just go to John 3.16. It'll show you. This, this, that, that, give, that one verse will show you. You know, one says shall and the other says should. Read the two differences and you'll see what I mean. And if I said to you, well, you know, you should, you'd be like, well, will I or not? And I'd be like, well, you should. Yeah, but you're not saying, well, it's like you don't really know. But if I say, well, yeah, you shall, it would imply I would. So there's differences. Remember that. So always stick with the King James Version if you can help with the original. All right, here we go. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. This is chapter 21. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I saw, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. So we know now he saw the new holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from heaven. That's the new city, okay? And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. I have bifocals on my glasses, and I and I think I got to get these, and these are scratched and everything, so I can't really see that well. So I'm in a cross between. Don't mess up your words when you, because sometimes I'll I'll mess up too. But I've been a cross between that, and I read a lot of Bible, so a lot of times I remember it. So I have to go, but it's it's just a mess. I got to get my glasses straightened out. So bear with me, folks. If you wonder why I stutter, I you know that's just what I do. It's I can't help myself. Lord, give me this. this is what I do, right? And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now that second death, a lot of people don't understand that, so let me help you a little bit. When you die, your body dies, your soul, that's what we consider the first death, okay? But there's also a biblical aspect of it, okay? You can die in Christ and be reborn. I know that sounds crazy. Which side of the fence do you want to be on, though, right? Do you want the side that, oh, come on in, or the side where, ooh, things ain't going to be good? There's only two sides. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, come hither. I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. Because you have to understand with the dying thing, folks. Listen to me. Your body dies, but when you're when you're baptized, you die. You die in this. It, it's a spiritual death. You die to sin, and now you're born to. So this, you gotta you gotta look at it from all of these perspectives. It's really deep, and you really gotta be a thinker. That's what makes it fun, right? God give us the mind to think. 
and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Her, the city. Pay attention, God. And he carried me away in the, in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her light, her light, her light, was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Paying attention. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. So there's three gates for each north, south, east, and west. Her. The city is Jerusalem. It's her. That's the tribes of Israel. That means all of God's people. Who are God's people? God's people aren't exactly Israelites. It's anyone who follows God. Anyone who follows his commandments are his people. That's why the, that's why that's what Paul was trying to explain to us. If you go back and read your Bible, a lot of people want it, don't want to believe that. God's people are who follow him and who obey his words, plain and simple. Jew and Gentile alike. There's no difference. God's not a respecter of people. Doesn't matter what color you are. Doesn't matter. None of that matters. I'm telling you straight. Get in your Bible. If you don't believe me, get in your Bible and find out. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. This is why I just read it. I only know what the Bible says. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the wall thereof. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlings. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. So it's kind of like a box, right? And he measured the wall thereof, an hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of, an, of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a, a, a Chaldini, Chaldini, however you want to pronounce that. The fourth, an emerald. The fifth, Sardinox, Sardinix, however you want to pronounce that. The sixth, Sardius. The seventh, uh, Chrysolite. The eighth, Beryl. And the ninth, a Topaz. The tenth, a Chisporasm. I can't pronounce it. I hate big words. I just, big words get me, but we try. A Chisporasm. And I've had to learn all these words, and I've, I've still, I've looked about definition wise, I still dialect. So don't worry about that. If it doesn't, that doesn't matter. As long as you know the meaning, pay attention to that. Okay. Wow, that is a topaz in Christmas. In the eleventh, a, a Jason, and twelfth, an am amethyst, amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, and it were trans as it were transparent glass. Can you imagine? That's really neat. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. That's why we rest in the Lord. That's why we are in the Lord. It's not about anything else, no other processions at all. Don't get, ever get tied up into buildings, denominations, uh, some guy, some prophet, me, anybody. It's about Jesus, straight out. Jesus, 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 Bible, Bible. Do what Bible says. Just do what Bible says. Just do what Bible says. Don't listen to other people at all. Never, ever. Now, that doesn't mean that, that you can't work with other people. That doesn't mean that people are perfect. That doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean that. That's what's going on in the world today where people are going really, really wrong. Can't do that stuff. We got to be good. 
and I, and, and, and I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light thereof, and the nations of them which are saved, and the nations, nations, many nations, nations, that means all people, and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. That means Christians. That's what that means. That means Christians. I want you to remember that. That means people who follow the Bible. That's who the kings of the earth are. Don't think God didn't put structure in either. God, God knows, but well, the ones who will go to heaven, are the, if you don't defile, you'll go to heaven. Remember that. All right, we love you. Uh, get some Bible, and remember, just read it. Just read it. Simple as that. God bless.